you know, seeing the news, see people sharing stuff, see both sides, and we think for ourselves, but we want to go and see for ourselves and show our support for the truckers and everyone that's out there. We went out and, yeah, the, uh, the stories, the people, it's amazing. A life-changing experience. Never seen anything like it before in my life, and I don't know if I ever will. Can't get into the stories because we'll be here for hours, but uh, <laughs> yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so we're on our way back, and while we were there, actually, we ran into some people from Salmon Arm, and they told us about this absolute patriot, Ruth, who's been getting the family together here. So uh, we'll probably come by and give her a hug and uh, let it slip her in Ottawa, and now we're up here. <laughs> we have something to tell you guys. So, um, yeah. Pass it on because that's what everything else is going to say. Has anybody ever heard of the law of unintended consequences? Because yes. you are all the unintended consequences of two years of let them eat cake, oppression, and lying. Uh, I've been buddies with Josh for a year or so, and we've been watching, we've been going to the rallies and convoys, whatever we can in the lower mainland. And when we saw they started clubbing down and riding horses over little old ladies, that was a bridge too far for us. And uh, I just felt this burning in my gut, we have to go, and we figured we might have, might have been late, but something that has really been bugging me is like, how could this happen in our country? You know, we all we all have the internet, we all have grandparents, you know, we all know somebody who's been from a communist country, how could this happen? And what I just feel in my gut, and this burning that led me there is that this has had to happen, God has allowed this to happen, to expose the corruption to so many people. Because there are so many uncurious people that just want to go about their lives, and don't we all really at the end of the day, and they just wouldn't believe it if they didn't see it. So going to Ottawa, it's been amazing. We talked to so many people, you know, just, you know, the, the faithful grandma, the business owner, all this stuff, and, and seeing their, their footage and hearing the stories about them being brutalized on completely illegal and false pretenses. You know, as these stories are going around, it, it, they're not going to be able to hide this indefinitely, and they don't have a legal leg to stand on. So they have been acting through deception. We need to act in faith. Freedom is not something that is given by politicians or people with fancy hats or fancy suits. Freedom is inalienable. It's given to us by God, and it can't be taken. Don't tread on me. Free men don't ask permission. Yeah. One final lesson that, that I learned from Ottawa that I, that I took back is that Despite how fun it is to get into the facts and stuff and, and to, to debate people and get into all the arguments and stuff, I love arguing. Don't get me wrong, I love arguing. It's the stories about hearing how love has changed contentious people. Um, we were talking to somebody that was at uh, like a flag waving at the side of the road, yelling at cars, woo, freedom, all this stuff. And this person came by and flew them the bird. And as they were stuck in traffic, a lady came up to them and gave them a rose. And 20 minutes later, that guy comes back and like gave her a hug and said, thank you. Right? Love covers a multitude of sins. You know, we've we got to bless our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. That actually is what changes the difference, right? I haven't been persuaded by anything in life by someone yelling at me and calling me stupid, but compassion and understanding and love us. That goes a long way. So. Alright, so I'll be completely honest, I'm not one guy to do this at all. I'm usually the guy that's standing 300 feet back there. <laughs> but uh, this has definitely changed my life and gave me a totally different aspect of looking at every single person here. And being in Ottawa and the people coming up to you and hugging you and offering to... We got there, we were there for two days and we had a French gentleman that brought us in. He was giving out little whistles to kids. He offered to bring us into his house, to feed us, to give us uh, access to his shower, to anything. And it, there was actually multiple different people that did that to us. And just to meet people that have no idea who you are to bring you into their house, feed you, listen to your stories, listen to the stories of what they've witnessed in their own town and watching that. It's just beautiful. And again, not the guy to be the beautiful, powerful, but just the feeling of being there and looking at everyone and everyone is smiling and loving and little children coming up and hugging us and saying thank you giving us baggies of cookies that say thank you. And it was just the most powerful thing. And then to be driving province to province on our way back, no masks, no vaccine passports, on our whole way here until we get back here. And then we're like, oh, okay, sweet, welcome home. <laughs> but to be on our journey back and then to drive through town to this is, is beautiful. And it's the most amazing thing and gave us the reason to make the commute to Ottawa and try and make a difference and we're going home and we're going to continue that and uh, 
Uh, I'm from Abbotsford, he's from Chilliwack, and then this fine patriot. <laughs> I did not know him at all, and I met him a few weeks ago in Ottawa to find out he lives three and a half hours from us. And another little story, uh, <clears throat> my brother's got different views, which is totally understandable, and we all can respect each other's opinions. And uh, I've been so divided with him, and I've been closer with this beautiful soul in the last two weeks than I have been my brother in two years. It's a good thing. It is. It's beautiful, and we just want to thank absolutely everyone for being here. And this is the reason we got to